Hello, and welcome to the February update from the Tau team. And this is the developer team update. So Karim, over to you for the overview. Thank you, Fala, and welcome everyone to the February update for the Tau development team. Uh, let me start with Tomasz. Uh, he uh, worked uh, on the partial side uh, by uh, adding several features in support of the Tau language. Uh, for example, he abstracted the, the command line interface argument processing, uh, and he made several improvements to the parser API as well as enhancements to the stream uh, input and output uh, processing. On the Tau language side, he uh, finished testing uh, the BDD bindings. Uh, he also uh, created a test suite for the Tau Boolean algebra and actually found some issues that he related to David. Uh, he also uh, made the parser uh, object a singleton uh, in order to save uh, memory. Um, and uh, he also made some major improvements to the command line interface to the point actually now where we have, uh, we're close to having a, a REPL for Tau, a REPL that's a read, evaluate, and print loop, which is a, uh, a nice command line utility for, actually Ohad will be the first user of it, to um, uh, uh, continue on the development of the Tau language itself and the execution and the, uh, uh, and the parser, of course. So uh, David, our main developer, um, had a very busy month uh, this month um, uh, he, where he worked on Tomas uh, with, uh, on fixing uh, several bugs with the Tau Boolean algebra, as I already mentioned. Um, and uh, he added uh, checks to prevent any regressions uh, in that regard. On the Tau language side, he completed the first implementation of the recurrence relations. Uh, for Tau formulas, which is a major feature of uh, Tau programs, as we will soon uh, be uh, releasing after our patents are uh, fully submitted. Um, he added all the required uh, test cases for that, um, but also in terms of uh, improvements for both execution and memory utilization, he implemented uh, a technique called uh, memoization uh, in order to improve stability and uh, of the normalizer um, and speed up uh, the normalization uh, process. Um, he fixed a few detected errors uh, in those cases, mostly in, uh, in the, uh, related to satisfiability and the bindings. Um, he also made some uh, general code improvements, uh, refactoring uh, some code to, distinction, to distinguish the different types uh, of tau formulas based on input uh, from OHAD. He uh, also did uh, some uh, refactoring of the satisfiability code uh, to extract the inner lambdas and the code splitters. Uh, he refactored also some of the codes to promote uh, uh, reuse between the normalizer and the SAT solver. On the uh, execution side, um, he uh, modified some grammar uh, to help uh, with the splitter symbol. Uh, he also modified the APIs uh, to accommodate uh, those changes. On uh, Finally, on the executor side, uh, following uh, input uh, from OHAD and uh, actually a new algorithm proposed by OHAD for uh, execution. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll let him explain uh, more about it. Uh, he also uh, cooperated with Tomas on the, on the CLI side where um, he uh, uh, created some uh, commands that were considered must-haves uh, by OHAD, and he included uh, those commands in the CLI REPL. Uh, he also worked on uh, documentation by uh, keeping it up to date by adding uh, the latest example of usage of the Tau language uh, in the README file. Uh, Umar came back from his, uh, in February, from his uh, sabbatical in January. He came back in good shape. He worked on uh, the ambiguity uh, resolution for different productions. Uh, he uh, also worked on uh, optimizations of memory usage uh, as suggested by Ohad. Uh, he also worked on analyzing the effect of uh, uh, binarization on ambiguities and memory utilizations. And uh, last but not least, uh, Andre, actually Andre and I this month have been looking as has been suggested uh, earlier uh, by members of the community at uh, potentially using uh, uh, other blockchains other than quantum as the basis for our test net. Uh, we looked at Solana and Aptos in particular. Um, both are much more 
modern architectures than uh, quantum, which is um, not too far removed from uh, uh, Bitcoin itself. Um, so, um, and, and we continue to uh, discuss um, the pros and cons of each, uh, especially as we are looking to increase or expand our team. Uh, we're looking at uh, the available uh, pool of talent out there and what we uh, can recruit uh, in the market space. So that's one of the considerations. Um, but we're comfortable with quantum right now, but we're, we're keeping our minds open. Uh, Andre has also had to uh, rewrite the Twitter to Telegram bot uh, to cope with some of Twitter's uh, new API limitations uh, and messaging caps. Uh, that's it, uh, Fola, for the uh, development team update. I'll see you, everybody, next month. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, Karim. And I'll pass it over to you, Tomash, for your update this month. Cheers. Thank you, Fola. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I continued to, to work on the Tao language. Uh, I've been working on grammars. Uh, I did some cleaning and... Uh, various improvements. Uh, I've also renamed uh, the white space symbol from WS to just an underscore and required white space symbol from the uh, BS required to two underscores. And this uh, improves readability of our grammars. Uh, regarding the language itself, uh, I was working on testing of uh, BDD binding and uh, Tau BA structures. Uh, I did a refactoring of parser instantiation because we don't uh, need multiple instances uh, of a parser in memory. Now we use a single parser instance per grammar. Uh, I've started to work uh, on Tau command line interface. Uh, I've finished processing of command line argument, arguments by a generic CLI class from parser library, and uh, I've added initial commands uh, with argu arguments. Uh, there is now also a REPL command, which runs uh, uh, read evil, evil <laughs> route, uh, read evil, <laughs> read evil print loop. I've just added uh, normalization, and uh, I'm currently working on adding more functionality and uh, features. Uh, I've also also added possibility to read uh, Tau code uh, not only from strings but also from files and streams like standard input. Um, I did also some work on uh, the parser library. It was mostly stuff uh, we found uh, required or somehow useful for Tau language. This um, finishing the CLI arg arguments processing of DJF tool, so it can be reused by uh, Tau CLI. And uh, I did several improvements in API. I've cleaned uh, API by removing some necessary arguments and uh, changed, for example, for its get tree uh, method, it now optionally, optionally accepts a uh, root node of a tree, etc. And uh, otherwise, I've fixed several issues uh, with the CLI processing and uh, processing inputs from streams. That's all from me. Thank you. All right. Fantastic, Tomash. Thank you so much. And I'll pass it over to Umar for his update this month. Hello, team. Um, so this month, basically, uh, the work has been on um, finding ways to resolve ambiguities in productions. Um, and these ambiguities uh, arise um, uh, when parsing the string. Um, uh, same string can be parsed in different ways um, with different structure. So um, how can we disambiguate them at uh, uh, during the parsing time? Um, so the, um, one case is where productions have, uh, the, the ambiguities are coming from different productions and another case the ambiguity is coming from the same production. So we uh, devise a way based on the ordering of the uh, in, uh, of the p production uh, when we cast it into int. And another uh, way is to uh, we use a smaller span of the early item that is matched when we have the same production. So the PR uh, has been created and shared with the peer devs, and uh, we are getting uh, uh, positive feedback. And once the feedback is complete, we will integrate it into the master branch. Yeah, uh, thank you for that. All right, Umar, fantastic. Thank you very much. And David, over to you for your update this month. 
Thank you, Fola. Hi, everyone. As Karin commented, this month I've been working on more or less the following items. Uh, first, uh, related to the Tau Boolean algebra, uh, I have made several general improvements some, and some fixes suggested by Tomas, and I have also had tests to check everything. Regarding the Tau language, I have extended the language with recurrence relations. Uh, these extensions will allow us to simplify the writing of the programs and I have also had all the required test cases and documentation. In particular, I have changed the Tau language grammar in such a way that uh, uh, it allows us to have types in the recurrence relation because we have a recurrence relation for uh, NSO and also for GSOTC. Okay, so depending on the type that uh, we have, we could deal with it. Uh, I have made uh, se several ge general improvements on testing, uh, more or less uh, adding more tests to uh, tau specification satisfiability and also tau boolean algebras and to the la tau grammar, uh, tau language grammar itself. Uh, I have also been working in several improvements in in performance, mostly related to adding memoization to key points of the algorithms, mainly satisfiability and normalization. And uh, but I uh, I didn't go too much on on that road. I just at at, at the key points, just uh, because we have to balance between between uh, time and memory usage. And if we see that later on, we need to to further uh, store uh, previous results. Results we could go uh, that way. So apart from that, I have uh, also at. Uh, several uh, particular cases uh, I have add code to solve uh, particular cases as far as fast as possible in order to improve the general performance mostly in the normalization process I have been fixing uh, several uh, errors that I have detected uh, for example in the in the builders uh, I found it wasn't actually an error. It was, uh, let's say, an API defect, and and now it's fixed, and and everything is working fine, and and the API is is clean enough. And I have also uh, fixed several errors in satisfiability, but mostly related to bindings and and the grammar. Uh, regarding uh, the general code improvements I have made a cleanup of the code as far as I I have uh, seen and I have refactored the code to properly distinguish between NSO recurrence relation with uh, uh, NSO uh, GSSOTC and recurrence relation with GSOTC uh, the key point was to just clarify the API because at uh, previously, everything was the same type. Now uh, we are using alias to to clarify the intent of each method. Uh, I have reduced uh, some elements of the grammar in order to simplify the code. And also I have refactored the normalizer in order to reduce some parts of it in the satisfiability. Uh, regarding documentation, I have uh, keep up the documentation up to date with the with the changes that uh, I've been doing, and also I have uh, added a couple of, of of extra files in order to uh, take uh, care of all the tasks that we have and how we should proceed in proceed with the development of the of the Tau language. Uh, regarding the common line interface, I have created a basic grammar, a basic early parser grammar, uh, following OHAT's ideas. Um, uh, just starting to speaking out the things and, and dealing with, with some basic commands. In the future, we could add 
whatever commands we want, uh, but more or less the idea of how the grammar should work and how the common line interface should work. I think it's 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 clear. It came from from basic uh, from uh, from common computer algebra systems and and so on. And the idea is that you could type whatever you want, you get a result, and you could reduce the result in in later on in in, in the execution of the red evil red evil uh, print loop. Okay. Uh, so it's it's more or less uh, it follows the same guidelines that you could you could find in in other systems usual in in the mathematical uh, let's say arena and also in in, in logic okay and finally regarding the executor I have modified the grammar in order to add uh, the splitter symbol into into the grammar. So we uh, we we consider right now in the grammar that we could have the splitter of some element of a Boolean algebra, and also I have add uh, a couple of symbols that we need to deal uh, during the execution. At the end, uh, so Karin commented, uh, what we are doing is just. Uh, following the, the last idea from from Ohad from from this month, which is to use uh, a normal order form. Okay, so uh, we need to introduce a couple of, of symbols into the grammar. I have also created the, the required elements in the builder uh, API. And right now, I'm just focusing in uh, creating the callbacks, callbacks that we need to to deal with the, with those symbols in the callback system. Okay. After that, I will go. I will move into the proper execution of of Tau programs. The idea is that uh, instead of computing everything from scratch each time. Uh, we will kind of compile the Tau program. Um, by compiling, I mean uh, we will uh, compute a formula that will give us uh, the outputs from the inputs. So each time we we compute a new output, what we will do is just to plug the inputs that we have. And that's all from for my month. Thank you all. David, what an amazing update. It was so detailed, so thoughtful. So thorough. Um, so over to you, Andre, for your update this month. Hello, our beloved and growing community. Last month, we had a hours, hours of talks with Ahad, David, me, and every team member on the proper way to deliver testnet and on the proper way to implement Tau into the blockchain the right way because and there are several ways I can implement Tau as a blockchain and uh, some of them just wrong because they won't uh, highlight uh, those fantastic features that Tau uh, provides. So uh, we found a common ground on this matter with everyone and we understood that it would take slightly more time to improve how to the point it can be used uh, as a blockchain and to store state and to update state and to process user tau messages and everything and since i have some more time i spent uh, i spent my time exploring most modern blockchains such as solana and aptos for example aptos they got $400 million investment to uh, develop their amazing blockchain. And it's amazing blockchain. And it's also a patch to zero, meaning we can use them uh, as a base for our testnet. For example, I'm still looking into that. But because I have slightly more time now, I'm considering this seriously because this approach uh unlike 
quantum that is very has very limited support everywhere it has only console wallet and it has uh, not a big uh, you know user base and uh, not many updates uh, aptos on the other hand uh, can be attached to various numbers of uh, open source uh, wallets, uh, both web, mobile, iOS, Android, that would give me much more ways for you, the community, to explore the fantastic possibilities that uh, Tau inside the blockchain deliver. Not just a message, but uh, to see the core of this revolutionary approach. And that was my non main concern this this month. Also, this month I had to rewrite our Twitter to Telegram bots, so our community members who are present on Telegram uh, would get their uh, messages uh, forward to our Telegram channel. I had to change the logic because Elon Musk, what he did to Twitter, is is challenging for for development frankly speaking. Anyway, I think I dealt with it perfectly. So that's it for this month. Uh, I hope uh, to get more solid news next month as we all working uh, as hard as we can. Thank you very much for your support. See you next month. Cheers. All right, fantastic, Andre. And last but not least, never least, is Ahad. So over to you, I had for your update this month. Yeah, so I was working on uh, uh, better algorithms to, to give to David to make his life a little easier. And um, also working on the uh, blockchain design as well as on the uh, Tau language extensions that can help the, uh, the testnet implementation. Um, and on the to verbal fragment as usual. All right, fantastic. Thank you, I had. Thank you to the dev team. And thank you to you guys for tuning in, staying with us, sticking with us and continue to support the project for a very, very long time. So um, yeah, as you guys can see, the community growth has been uh, amazing on Telegram and we're looking to push that onto our Twitter, onto our Reddit. Um, as I mentioned on the uh, business team update, our uh, subreddit has changed from r slash tau chain to r slash townet agrs. That's obviously the ticker for Agoras. That's townet agrs. And we'll see you on the socials. Cheers. Bye.